enjoy doing what you don't enjoy, so you can do what you do enjoy. Read as much as you can. People hate bugs but love bookworms. What does the 65 in Swery 65 mean? Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play D4. I thought we changed David's clothes before we dive back into something a little bit more colorful. We're wearing the comedian clothes, the shirt, tie and pants and shoes. I like those. I think that I think they look nice. Let's go back here and dive back in. We can go to the bathroom manually to do this if we wanted to, or we could just hit this. It just takes us back to the bathroom anyway. Last time we met our Mark, Antonio Zapatero, but he is currently being guarded by Federal Marshal Derek Buchanan, who will not let us talk to him. And we know that at some point during this flight, the plane is going to be struck by lightning. Zapatero will get into a fight with Buchanan and the flight staff. And then he will disappear. And we don't know how or why. We have to stop it from happening because Zapatero may know the name of D. And if he does, we need to speak to him. But there's nothing that we can do about it right now, it seems. So let's just keep walking along this aisle and see if we can find anyone else who might be able to help us. And this flight attendant is still in the way. It looks like he's taking complaints from a passenger. I know I heard. But of course. I, I just, yes. Again, I, I know I heard. No, no, I, 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 hmm. I guess we just have to make the most of it, don't we? Yeah, we can drink some water. Someone left it here. It's ours now, I guess. We could also investigate the overhead compartments that people left their stuff in. No one will mind, right? Sure. After all, it's for a good cause. Like souvenirs from the trip. We're a detective. Someone left their open bag of peanuts. Mmm, butter salt. We'll eat those. Someone uh, bought a model space shuttle. Uh. Yep, that's, I guess that's what David Young thinks of the space program. Doesn't seem like there's anything else we could do, aside from... I guess look at this wrinkly seat cover. It doesn't seem very interesting, but I guess we'll look at it. Snow on the front. Cherry blossoms on the back. They change them according to the season. It isn't totally atrocious. But hardly avant-garde, now is it? I'd expect no less flying coach, of course. Would it have killed them to use a little real stitching? Honestly! And who might you... I don't ask for opinions from the uninspired. Suki, baby, what do you think? Dress all the seats white, then crown them with a single pink stag beetle? Oh, yes! Or maybe change all these to black lights, but not too dramatic. Just play Does straight. your mannequin ever reply? She's not a mannequin. She's my partner. She is? Yes, she is. I'm Duncan, and this is Suki. We're top fashion designers, the both of us. <sighs> Duncan. So this guy's also a D. Some people just don't get it, no matter how many times you tell them. My bad, I'm sure. Can I ask you something? I don't need your opinion. After all, I have Suki. The sunglasses, in particular, are strikingly progressive, don't you think? This is... Oh, my God! 
The epitome of my next theme. <laughs> the cart that was blocking the aisle has been moved. Now I can expand my search area a little wider. Oh well, fortunately, the cart had been moved for top fashion designers Duncan and Suki. I, did, I had no, no idea we had such celebrities on this plane. We could examine further down. Hmm? 4,539? 4,540? There's something fishy going on here. Is there a problem? The west side window. The sun's setting there, so that's the west. The west side window, the angle of the setting sun, that is the left side in regard to our direction of travel. That window right there. That window made a noise, didn't it? You heard it, right? I have to inform Dr. Johnson. Going to Washington, D.C. by plane. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. She has her name written on everything she owns. She's a D2? This is so bad. This plane is going down. It's okay. There's no problem. Oh, shut your mouth. There were lightning strikes on the flight over. There's most definitely a problem. The window will keep on creaking. Suddenly, it will break. We'll turn like crazy. Lightning will hit us again. A direct hit. Lightning? Yes. Lightning! It'll blow an engine up this time, that's for sure. And what happens then, Mr. No Problem? This plane won't be flying anymore. You agree with me now, right? This plane is going down! No. This plane didn't crash. What? Did it crash? Did it? How the fuck would you know that? Who the hell do you think Is you are? there a problem, madam? This this dumb shit here is fucking with me. I told him the noise the window was making is bad news. I told him. Well, madam, I'm sure you did. <sighs> Very well. I just... Uh, Please allow me to handle this. unbelievable. Well, well. So Let me life. see now. Mr. Young, wasn't it? I have to admit, I didn't expect to ever see you again. I can't imagine why. This flight attendant seems to know me. I have no idea when I met him, however. For me, our first meeting is a past that hasn't happened yet. You are quite the stubborn mule. The type who won't stay dead, even if he gets killed, maybe. Oh, I wonder. <laughs> if you're going to cause trouble, I may have to eject you from the game. Trouble? Me? Your watch was about to fall off. It looks expensive. So I didn't think you'd want to lose it. I'm just a polite, helpful passenger. Look, ref. If you're gonna bench anyone, bench her. And I heard it. And if you don't listen to me, I don't know what I'll do. Just listen. Now I've got three people with names that start with D. Deborah Anderson, Duncan, and Derek Buchanan. To be honest, I still don't know if any one of them is who I'm after. But there's a bag load of room for suspicion. Isn't that right, little Peggy? Well, David talking about how there are three people now who have names that start with D. That doesn't seem like the most interesting thing, though. It seems like what's more interesting is that Philip Cheney, the attendant, also knew who David Young was. That's the second person now. The first person was Derek Buchanan. 
Cheney said that he didn't expect he'd ever see us again, and he even knew about David's uh, penchant for hockey metaphors. So what does that mean, do you think? I don't know. I mean, I suppose we could talk to Deborah. I don't know if it's really necessary to suspect everyone on the plane who has a name that begins with D, of being D, but... Let's see if we can find out anything from her. Why don't people understand? All right, she's wearing a life jacket. That seems... I mean, I guess that's... That's, ca that's just caution right there, but let's ask about it. Just what are you planning, wearing your life jacket like that? Planning? Ha! Huh. What are you blathering about now? Maybe you're hoping to stage a daring mid-air escape? Let me ask you then. Why aren't you wearing your life jacket? What if something does happen? Show me proof that there'll be time to get one out and put it on, eh? It's like Dr. Johnson always says. Be proactive, not reactive. It's a good point, I suppose. And that's the second time she's mentioned this Dr. Johnson. Probably not the same one that we know. So what kind of something do you think will happen up here? You're slower than you look. What do you think? On an airplane? Abduction? What? Abduction? From an airplane? What are you smoking, shitbrain? I'm talking about the plane crashing. CRASHING! It's like Dr. Johnson always says. Being prepared is half the battle. Well, I, I guess there's nothing really else to say about that. But does she know, uh, has she known Philip Cheney from before? Or is there any association there? Were you fighting with that male crew member all this time? Fighting? <laughs> I was educating him. Educating him to the danger we are in. He was just like that on the flight over to You can't be too careful. He obviously has trouble understanding the emotions of others. See? He's always having to calm himself down with that inhaler thing. It's all here in my notes. She, uh, takes notes on the people she meets, it seems. You take notes on everyone you meet? Yeah. You got a problem with that? Not necessarily. But why? It's all part of my methodology for achieving peace of mind. Peace of mind? Really? Yes. Methodology for achieving peace of mind. It's like Dr. Johnson always says, there are no guarantees in life. Find a way to achieve peace of mind. Well, something that seems to be preventing her from obtaining peace of mind are these supposed window noises, so I guess let's ask about those. The window noise bugs you that much? Okay, hot stuff. Let me ask you then. You're saying it doesn't bug you at all? It's making sounds. Sounds that you aren't supposed to hear. What'll happen if it breaks? The plane will crash! How can everyone be so calm? If she is D, then just what is she planning? Hey, you. Will you go and check that all the other windows are okay? Excuse me? I'd love to do it myself, of course. But I've got to count the squeaks this fucking window here makes. So I want you to go and check on them. I bet they are squeaking away in places I've never even dreamed of. Oh, I dare not even imagine it. I dare not even imagine any of it. I guess I can't argue with that reasoning. Okay, so listen carefully. Here's what I got. The windows creak on a set cycle. In other words... If not a single window creaks within that length of time, we are safe. <sighs> 
So, I need you to hurry around to a number of places and check them. If you can't check all the windows within the time, you'll prove nothing. The very safety of this plane is resting on your shoulders. Why mine? Go get to work! Ready? Set? Go, 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 go! Go, go! All right, it's time to inspect the plane. We have to make sure that all of the windows are not creaking. I mean, he won't let us get past here, but, uh, I mean, we can at least take a look at the windows that are right here. And these these look fine. These look fine. Uh, the, there's a white cat right here. There's no time to pay attention to the white cat. We have to look at these windows, and they seem all right. Okay, I've examined four. Six more to go. And nothing over here. And she's already examining the window that's by her. She's keeping an eye on it. Oh, oh, there we go. Not a scratch on that one. The fate of the plane r rests on our shoulders. What if we were not able to examine all the windows in time? Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's not forget about the windows on the emergency doors back here. We did it. We examined the windows. <sighs> That's a pretty good workout. Excellent. None of the other windows made a noise, right? I would have done better when I was back on the force. The safety of the windows is assured. Good. Glad to hear it. However... Oh. There's still plenty of danger lurking on this plane. So, can you handle a double investigation? I think that we can... I think that it is within all of our best interests that we investigate this plane. Something's been on my mind, so I took this chance to reread some old notes. You have your old notes? Yes, of course I do. What would be the point of not having them with me at all times? Ah, here's one. One year, two months, and 11 days ago, a commercial on cable TV. So completely terrifying. My handwriting is all squiggly from trembling in fear. Apparently, as carpets age, their corners start to get folded back. I checked a carpet corner just now, and there was more than one inch of peel back. Surely, there are more of these silent assassins lurking on board. Who knows what apocalyptic shitpole scenario we might be facing? I need you to go and check for them, and do it quick, smartass. Go get to work. Ready? Set? Move, move, move! I have to admit, I never thought about the carpets. I never thought about the carpets peeling back. Did... did the airline think about it? Maybe they didn't. I mean, okay, this seems all right. Mm-hmm, okay, uh, the carpets seem all right. You know, because you can't really tell, is this something that the airline would have realized that they had to inspect themselves, so... I mean, I guess if we have to do it, we have to do it, but it looks like everything's checking out so far. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just good to know that this airline, this airplane, has been undergoing regular maintenance. Yeah, that's right. You saw Derek looking at that, too. He saw it. He saw it. Oh, hold on. They're right in the corners. Huh? And... All right, there we go. It seems that the safety of this airplane is secure. <sighs> None of the carpets were peeled back. Really? You're sure? <sighs> Good. As Dr. Johnson always says, inspections only have meaning when performed regularly. Words to live by. The possibility of her being D seems very slim at the moment, but my prejudice may be concealing the truth for me. 
Until I obtain concrete proof that she's not involved, I can't remove her name from the list of D candidates. I guess I have to admit that even if she seems unlikely, that's not a reason to remove her from suspicion, I guess. She's mentioned this Dr. Johnson before. Anything else she can tell us about him? Who is this Dr. Johnson? A doctor at the hospital I work at. He's so intelligent and so kind. He always tells me ways to keep out of harm's way. So thoughtful. <laughs> All right, so maybe she can give us some tips on how to keep out of harm's way. So how does he say you should stay out of harm's way? Okay, what happens if you are in a diner and get served coffee that's too hot? What would you do? I'd just drink it. Oh, and you'd get burnt as a result. What you need is an industrial thermometer. This bad boy can measure up to 100 degrees Celsius in 0.1 degree increments. It's like Dr. Johnson always says, wait for hot coffee to cool before drinking it. <sighs> oh, and the best temperature for perfect hot coffee is between 82 and 85. I'm, I'm way ahead of Dr. Johnson on that one. I do agree that you do need to wait for that to cool down. What's this about exaggerated thinking? I don't see anything exaggerated about anything we've been talking about so far. Are you serious? What? Of course I'm serious. Do you know how dangerous hot coffee can be? Do you? There have been lawsuits over it. Suits of law. It's like Dr. Johnson always says, you must approach every minor thing as though it is heart surgery, even if you know in your own heart that it truly is only minor. I mean, well, it's true. Even if you know it's only minor, what if you're wrong? What if it's something that's actually an emergency? And you pay the price because you did not take it seriously enough. But speaking of taking something seriously, Antonio Zapatero is the most serious thing on this flight. Does she know anything about him? What with her observing everyone and taking all these notes. Do you have notes on that pair in the very back row? Of course I do. What do they say? Why should I tell you? I'm doing all this hard work for my own peace of mind. Not for you or yours, understand? It's like Dr. Johnson always says, you must obtain your own peace of mind through your own hard work. I mean, we did just help her out. I think it would be all right if she shared some of her work with us, considering how hard we've been working for her, really. I'll work hard next time. Honestly, I will. Hmm. Just this once, then. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's right about that. Yeah. Okay, she's met Derek before. Maybe on the flight over. But the... It's like Dr. Johnson always says. Keep your notes concise. Next time, you'll have to take notes yourself. All right, so one thing that was mentioned there is that his pen was not bent on the first flight over, only on the way back. Anything else that she might have in those notes? This really is just to achieve peace of mind? Sounds like an accusation to me. Well, your notes are very detailed. It sounds more like you're investigating something. Or someone. You really aren't planning anything? Hmm... I'm going to be putting a watch carefully by my notes on you. Well, I mean, maybe we could say the same. Anyone else on your watch carefully list, then? I'd say you might watch yourself carefully, for example. Hmm... 
You've got some serious psychological issues, haven't you? How about I introduce you to Dr. Johnson? Well, I guess that's pretty much all we're going to get out of Deborah Anderson for right now. It doesn't seem like this conversation is going anywhere. Let's head up here. Here's Philip. But it doesn't seem like he's going to let us pass there. This is business class. I cannot let you through. What if I push the point? You will find that I push back. The way into business class has quite the god dog. Moving a god dog requires some bait. Mm. Should work. What kind of bait could we have? I mean, but I mean, speaking of pushing. <laughs> I mean, we can do that. But as good as that is, that won't that will not let us into business class. What about this cat? Hmm, white cat, odd eyes, ribbon, a bloodstain. Could be an illusion? Well, it doesn't seem to be an illusion. Oh, it's just Amanda's branch shop, where we could buy food. I mean, if we need to restore, restore our stamina, or vi our vision, or our life, we could buy things from the branch of Amanda's shop right here. We don't really need to buy anything right now, though. From the cat. Let's continue on. Oh, hold on. Just gotta make sure that I get everything. <gasps> ah, the luggage is hitting it. That's what's <gasps> making the window squeak. Oh. oh my. Well, okay, so we can see what's causing the squeaking windows, but let's just leave Deborah to that for a little bit longer, I think. She does seem to enjoy counting all the squeaks anyway. Wonder if Olivia has anything else to tell us. No money. It's the same episode. God. Where did I put it? All right, she does have something else she can tell us. She's also looking for something, but uh, let's talk about Philip Cheney first, her coworker on this airplane. Is that Cheney fellow always like that? Like what? I don't know what you mean. He seems dangerous. Dangerous? Superficially polite, like he's looking down on others. Not at all. Philip is a valued member of the crew. He's always the first to handle the difficult passengers, too. Oh, and who might she be referring to about difficult passengers? You mean, he handles the people looking for a lawsuit? No, I didn't say that. You sure did. No, sir. I only said difficult passengers. Is Deborah Anderson a difficult passenger? So, a difficult passenger might be that woman with the life jacket on? What does that mean, sir? Exactly what I said. Who is she to you? It's a personal matter, but one I cannot overlook. I cannot discuss other passengers. Just a little would be okay, surely. <sighs> Right now, you're the most difficult passenger on this flight. Well, I guess I can't argue with that. But it looked like that she was looking for something? What was that about? What are you looking for? Oh, it's nothing, sir. Hmm. If you can't tell me, then allow me to tell you what it is. What do you mean, sir? The item you lost is... The crew manual, I bet. Uh, of course it isn't. Yet yeah, you've been struggling with the equipment here for a while now. Don't you think it would be better to have it? That... I'm not sure about. Whatever the reason, she's hiding something. I might get more out of her if I find the manual. 
All right. I mean, it looks like Olivia is looking for the crew manual, even though she doesn't want to admit that herself. David seems to have been able to figure it out. Okay, so now there are some extra cases in which we have to find an item to complete it. And that item will only become available after the extra case is open. And we might notice that there's a little glowy thing right here. It's the equipment manual. That wasn't there before I just talked to Olivia just now. Oh, by... Just... Hold on. Yeah, just wanted to give him one. I really need to find it. Well, we have it. Is this what you're looking for? Oh, uh, thank you. I found it on one of the seats. Maybe a kid was playing with it? I just need to be more attentive. No problem, I assure you. But why do you even need the manual? It's a bit late once you're on board. Yes, well, I'm new to this job. New enough to need a manual. Anyway, what was it you needed the manual for? I'm afraid I can't tell you. And whatever it is, is it something you can do with your bare hands? Oh, that's right. I also need the toolbox, but I can't seem to find that either. Well, I mean, I guess we're here to help people. She isn't asking outright, and yet she's quite skillfully making requests of me. No problem. I can play along a little longer. If we find it, maybe we can get more information. David does seem to think that there is more to Olivia Jones than meets the eye. So let's take a look around on the plane. Is anything showing up now that we're on the search for the toolbox? <laughs> My turn, asshole! The door is wobbling, but the plane still flies fine. <laughs> These machines are really built safe. Not sure if that was sarcasm or not. I mean, it's good that the plane is still flying fine, isn't it? Oh, hold on, what's that? It's the toolbox. Someone shoved it into the overhead compartment. Don't know why someone would do that, though aren't those meant for passengers? Well, whatever. We found it. I really need to find it. And here it is. Got you the goods. I didn't ask for your help, sir. Huh? I also don't like the way you said that. You sound like a drug dealer. Old habits. I brought you exactly what you needed. Doesn't that warrant a thank you? Like I said, I didn't ask for your help. I still don't have everything I need, either. Huh. I'll bet that attitude of yours makes you lots of friends. That has nothing to do with you, sir. <sighs> so come on. What else do you need? What? You'll find it for me? I've started, so I'll finish. It looks like you have your hands full, too. Okay. I'd like a blanket. The cabin does get chilly. You'll find it in a bag with the tag TFI B0065. A blanket with a tag on it? I think she's giving herself away, but I'll play along a little longer. Well, it sounds like David uh, gleaned something from the fact that the blanket has a tag on it, but I guess we can also ask about this unknown passenger. Do you have difficulty remembering people's faces? No, remembering faces, names, are two things that I'm normally good at. But I didn't remember you. Don't worry about it. I have one of those faces. Uh, I guess we can also ask about the flight. So tell me, is the flight going well? Why do you ask, sir? I don't mean anything by it. You don't? It certainly sounds like there's something specific you want to know. Just like you said. No deep meaning. Hmm. It's cloudy, but everything is fine. 
There's no need to worry, sir. Please just return to your seat. All right. I mean, again, I don't think David is making him se himself seem less suspicious by all this conversation with Olivia Jones. But, I mean, she wanted us to find a blanket. The door is wobbling, but the plane still flies fine. <laughs> These machines are really built safe. The game seems to be trying to call our attention to the emergency door. Can't imagine why. Kind of makes it seem like it wants us to do something with that door. But, I mean, that's really not what we're doing right now. Oh, right, I forgot about something. Almost forgot. I mean, that would have been bad to forget that. That's essential. Excuse me. Oh, there's one more overhead compartment that we have not looked at yet. Nothing looks out of place. But I think I see a glowy. Hmm, limited edition. Uh, out of here. All right, we found the heavy blanket. I guess let's go back and give Olivia what she's looking for. Looks like the emergency door is causing the window to squeak. Mhm, mm I know. But that's really not what we're here for right now. What's wrong with you? I really need to find it. And for the third time, here it is. This blanket is heavy. Really heavy. What's in it? That's no concern of yours, sir. Why so specific about the tag, then? One blanket is like all the others. Why did you need a specific number? <sighs> I cannot answer that, sir. You can't? Just who are you? A flight attendant on AG Flight 117 to Boston. And who may you be? A passenger on AG Flight 117 to Boston. Hmm. Huh. You remember what I first called you? Stowaway, right? I hope, for your sake, that isn't the case, Mr. Passenger. All right, that extra case is done. And it seems that the only result is that we're both very suspicious of one another. Olivia Jones. She definitely knows something. I just hope she doesn't get in the way of my search for D. If she does, that'll mean a drastic change in our relationship. Can I give you one piece of advice? What is it, sir? If you want to look like a member of the cabin crew, try to smile a little more. You're always so on guard. One might mistake you for... Undercover FBI? What does that mean? That you've got a face which is easy to read. Who are you, really? Just a curious passenger. I'm sorry, sir. I really do have to get back to work. Sure. Sorry to get in your way. Well, it seems that David thinks that he has Olivia Jones figured out. Could she be an agent for the FBI on this flight? Perhaps to monitor the transport of Antonio Zapatero right here? My turn, asshole! I mean, who could say? The door is wobbling, but the plane still flies fine. What we can say is that the door is wobbling. Is it really built safe? I mean, maybe I should just give it a little push just to maybe set it back into position. I can't take any more of this. You've Every heard it before, you know. Undergoes just... more than 100 rigorous checks before. What? Are you saying these window noises are all in my head? Are you dumb buck? I thought you were a nice gentleman. Madam, you think I I'm just some you, complainer, some of the... lawsuit seeker? Do you? This is completely unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. Show me your name tag. Show it to me! Employee number D-3582? 
I've burnt it into my forebrain. Once I'm home, yes, I am going to sue you. I have never been so mad in my life. <laughs> I... I'm just practicing what I preach. As you I wish, can't you understand madam. That? However, perhaps if we Is change there your any seat way I can you? talk to your manager? I'm sure the sound I've of windows would not annoy you in say and every business class. Hmm? The seats I've... are very fluffy too. Business? That's a uh, class. It is, madam. I could show you to your seat. One where I can't hear the windows. No creaking. nasty window noises in this. <laughs> well, I... If you'll just allow me to explain the procedure for your upgrade. I suppose that could be okay. <laughs> you never. What the fuck? In the instant I saw that big man, the scar on my forehead started to throb. This has never happened before. What's going on here? That's so strange. A tall, thin man has appeared at the front of the airplane, and we feel some sort of magnetic pull to him. Some sort of attraction that we cannot describe. Have we met him before? Does he have some kind of power over us? I guess maybe we'll find out next time, because let's save for right now, and uh, we'll come back. And what's this? Derek is... Where's Antonio? Where Zapatero... Zapatero is in the toilet, and Derek is waiting for him, I guess. I think that's something else we should pay attention to next time. For right now, let's call whoever it is we call when we do this and save our game. And we'll be back next time with more of Let's Play D4. As we, uh, maybe we should find out what's going on here, and also what's going on over there with that tall man. I'll see you next time. Damn. Here's what I got. The windows creak on a set cycle. In other words... If not a single window creaks within that length of time, we are safe. <sighs> So, I need you to hurry around to a number of places and check them. If you can't check all the windows within the time, you'll prove nothing. The very safety of this plane is resting on your shoulders. Why mine? Go get to work! Ready? Set? Go, 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 go! Go, go! is wrong with you the safety of this very aircraft is resting entirely on your shoulders uh, uh, can I just rest a moment oh dear don't have much stamina do you I want you back here as quickly as possible thank you very much otherwise I just might get an anxiety attack